paid for Rose's expenses while she was with you, Ms. Henderson? Me. Did she have any vet visits? No. Okay, how long did you have her? Five months. Did she need food and water? Yes, I had um, a scheduled delivery of the food through Amazon every month. And you paid those expenses? Yeah. When Jet came to stay with you, who paid for Jet's food? Me. Okay, no. is that true, Ms. Jet Galloway? ate different foods, so I could not send him with no food. They didn't eat the same food. And I always sent food for Jet. Okay, you said that you lived with Ms. Galloway initially when the kids got Rose and Jet, and that you could tell straight off the bat Rose was a nightmare. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, everybody. I mean, they're puppies, but Rose? Yeah. Rose was different. Why have her come to live with you if she was such because a Because I knew that was the one they didn't want. And I knew I just wanted something. Most of the information she's giving you is lies. I asked her what was her behavior issue? What was the problem? Yeah, page just 20, page no 20. accident. Exactly. And sometimes whines, but not a lot. Only time she barks is if you scare her out of her sleep. That doesn't sound like much of a behavior problem. Oh no, that's not where I told her about the behaviors. That's when I first got her. Everything that happened in the beginning, we were both fighting for it all to work out. That is not true. By the time it got to page 21 and beyond, that's when it all was, it, it was all too much for everybody. I told her, I said, you can't breed this dog, she's well, psycho. When I sent her that text message, I told her, it will be at least two years before I would ever, I get no child support, no alimony, no friend money, no I, nothing. I am a single mother with two kids who makes one fourth of what you I make. I hear that, and you know what, we're gonna have so the benefit. So I have at least okay. two years before I can even think about being able to pay you. And by the and way, on top hold of on, that, stop. I still paid her. Stop. And then after I paid her, I got evicted twice. Okay. I missed the second eviction by one hour, and that's I when I told her that. I can't do this anymore. I understand that. So I have no more questions at this time. I'm gonna open it up to my colleagues Thank if you. they have further questions. All right. How much did Rose cost you to take care of her during the five months that you had her? I don't know. Her? Maybe 50 bucks a month. You know, okay. not a lot. All right, I, I have nothing But I understand it. her side of losing all of that puppy money. Yes. And that was the original reason why she had the dog in the first place, right. which is why I said yes to everything as long as I could. But as soon as I started to get I... evicted and lose everything, and I almost lost my kids twice, you can take her back. I don't get child support or alimony, and she knows that. I'm sorry my kids left the door open. I really, really am. Like, nobody did it on purpose. I had no reason to do that. And at please? the end of the day, you make $300,000 a year. Take the loss. Don't come to a single mother who has nothing and keep badgering me until please? you get it back. I it's mean, not it helpful. Like oh, okay. The, the badgering the day, is over not, now. We, I mean, I just want you to understand that half of these things that she's saying to you guys are just all total lies. Mm, okay. She does not have her kids as a single parent. She has joint custody of her kids with her ex-husband. Yes, I'm a so single parent. she doesn't parent. have her kids all the time. They have split custody. We're I got not... To, I'm not going to get into that we're part not of it. Gonna the get point into that, that I'm trying to tell you is that the things that she's telling you is not true. Does anybody else have any other no. questions? No, no. All right, we're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you both very much. This courtroom is now in recess. You can read through the text. There's a lot of murkiness about the actual relationship between the plaintiff and the defendant. However, I think taking the defendant's version of what happened, it seemed to me that part of the bargain for the plaintiff to give the defendant Rose was that ultimately Rose would be bred and the plaintiff would reap the profits from that. So if I take the defendant's own defense, the defendant is liable. I, I don't need to go there if I accept the plaintiff's version that this was a temporary arrangement. Based on the defendant's own testimony, I agree with Michael, also the text messages, even though they were going back and forth, at the end of the day, when Rose ran away, the defendant did take responsibility made a payment, offered to continue making payments, she accepted responsibility, so I'm gonna go with that. I think you hit the nail on the head, Yodi. I think her reaction immediately was, I'm so sorry I lost your dog, how am I gonna come up with a way to pay for her? How do I make this right, yeah. Based on that alone, I think the plaintiff is entitled to her money back. Yeah. yeah. I think 5,000 is fair. We have a verdict, we it's have unanimous. A verdict. We do.